So Gurudev says, if you can win over your mind, you can win over the whole world. Kabir said the same thing, man ke jeete jeet hai, man ke hare har. So how do we win over this mind? If we understand what influences the mind, then we have a better control on the mind. So today I'm going to read from the intimate note to the sincere seeker. There are five factors that influence the mind. Place, time, food, past impressions, and actions and associations. Every place you are in impacts the mind differently. You can feel this even in different rooms in your own house. A place where there has been singing, chanting, meditation has a different influence on the mind. Suppose you like a particular place. You may find that a little later, it won't be the same. Time is also a factor. Different times of the day and year have different influences on the mind. The food you eat has an effect on you, which lasts for several days. Past impressions, karmas, have a different impact on the mind. Awareness, knowledge and meditation all help us erase past impressions. Actions and the people and events you are associated with also influence the mind. In certain company, your mind behaves in one way, while with others it behaves in another way. Question, should we worry about them? Gurudev, no need to be paranoid about it. Just know these factors. Though these five factors influence life and the mind, know that the self is much more powerful. As you grow in knowledge, you will influence them all. So there are five factors that influence the mind. Let's look at them. Number one is place. So different places you go to have different kind of frequencies and vibrations. A place where there has been a lot of chanting, meditation will make you feel differently. Suppose you go to a courtroom or a funeral ground or a room where a lot of young children have been playing. You're bound to feel different, right? Because place has a concrete influence on the way you think, the way you feel. Now, what kind of places do you go to? Think about that. Number two, time. Different times of the day, different times of the year, different seasons. And of course, astrologically different times. All this has an influence on the mind. We saw how much the world changed in the pandemic, right? So observe this. Different times of the day, different kind of thoughts can come. So that's the number two influence, time. Number three is food. We become what we eat, right? See, you have limited say on the places you go to. You have even more or less say on the time, but you have complete say on the food. You pick, right? So pick food which is easy to digest, which is healthy, and then you will see your mind will start changing. As against that, pick food which is not so healthy, which is stale, difficult to digest, you will see that you start feeling differently. Yeah. So food has a concrete influence on the mind. Past impressions and karmas. Yeah. Whatever you have done in this lifetime or previous lifetimes, will have an influence on the mind. Now, we don't need to worry about that, but we need to become aware about that. And meditation can wash away these impressions. So it's so important to meditate. And finally, your actions and your associations. You hang out with certain kind of people, you start thinking like them, you start talking like them. And the more the influence of the people around you on you, your entire behavior changes. This is again a very important decision. I saw this in my life. When I consciously started to be with people, hang out with people who were positive, who were optimistic, who wanted to do something for the community, who were not manipulative, I started becoming like them. So consciously choose your company. Look, Sangat Kana has a very deep effect. The people who are sitting with us keep a lot of respect. Now, it's very important to note, though these five factors influence life and mind, know that the self is much more powerful. As you grow in knowledge and meditation, you will influence them all. This is so important. Either you can get influenced by people, situations, circumstances, or you start influencing them. And the more we meditate, we come in the second category. You know, a lot of people out there want to be social media influencers. I tell you, become a mind influencer and start with the man in the mirror. So we spend so much time on Facebook, but this is our life book. How about spending some time with this?